Good evening and welcome back to the crust. If I pause this here, we should start scanning the cargo terminal and we'll find out what's going on next here. Director, the results of the terminal survey are extremely disappointing. Immediately after the disaster, it tried to receive a distress signal from Hope 2, but failed and shut down. Only fragments remain. Even our base managed to receive this message in the better quality. Okay. We'll have to repair the terminal to contact the station, and that will involve sending drones and materials to repair it. We can't do that without the expedition center. Now, we have acquired a components factory and started mining titanium. The production of titanium plates remains to be dealt with. Study the relevant technology and build a rolling mill. Okay, we need to build a rolling mill. Okie dokie. Right. Oh. My audio sounds broken. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, right. So, rolling mill, rolling mill, rolling mill, rolling mill. We do have the rolling mill, don't we? Um, we do not. There's the rolling mill. Uh, no, that's my concrete. There's the rolling mill. Okay, we want to get this one then, don't we? Um, let's... Uh, I want salvaging. I'm not too fussed about that. Well, uh, I'm not too fussed about this, I should say. So let's do this, put the rolling mill in. And then put that up to there. Which is going to be fundamental, which means it needs to be after the expedition center. So, okay, okay. So we've still got a little bit to do. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, how are we doing? We need this as well. I want to do this to clear out some stuff. So, um, how do we have any? We have two mining drones. Where are our mining drones? They are mining. I don't have a clue what they're doing. Where are they mining? Um, I think they're trying to get inside here to mine this. So um, I'm going to cancel this research because complete. it's broken. Research. Director, we've completed research that will allow us to disassemble the remains of the Evermoon base for resources. Every unit counts right now and they won't be needing the ruins anymore. The universal removal tool can be accessed from the right click menu. Shift, chain selection of rubble for removal. Okie dokie, but first and foremost, we need to do- We made a decent profit and saved an entire region from extinction. I consider this a great bonus for those who were concerned about short-term gains. Right, Alice? <laughs> okay, let's, um. Add these. Let's con this hiring market. I don't think we're going to do con this. I think I think I might just skip them entirely. I'm I'm still undecided. I think I think I've I've switched between do one do con this, do one up and do con this, do one put down loads of these or not. I kind of think I just want to put down loads of buildings and deal with the power consumption levels, which is fine. Because I said we'll come down here, we'll start doing our power down here, and we'll work our way back up again. So, but we can now, of course, ruin things. So we have here salvage. If I click this, boom, we can now salvage things. So if I hold shift and just start moving the mouse around, shifting and uh, holding mouse click and just start moving the mouse around, they will start removing all the things, including the uh, things on the floor for rubble. Also, because it's highlighted everything in yellow, it's very easy to see what's what, what's where, what's when. So uh, yeah, much easier to do things. So let's remove these in here, shall we? Oop. Oop. Rid of that one. Uh, I'm not fussed about doing that one because we're going to do the power down below. Yeah, it does cons yeah, use up a lot of our drones to uh, uh, do it, to to um, to do the whole thing for it, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, you are full. You are full. No drones are actually coming to do this right now because we need more drones. Okie dokie. Uh, I want to kind of leave the rover there for the minute. Uh, There's a lot of structures we could go and have a look at, actually. It's, um going to investigate that it's nearby it's nearby so that's fine and we have our cargo truck that's just doing nothing right now because we need to build an expedition center which i think um i think we'll put kind of here somewhere 
um, and we're going to go this way underground we're going to go this way with our construction and then have um they better come up to a landing port which would be over there somewhere so that's the idea that's the idea okay contract complete. do we have any other contracts uh we do not but we have unlocked the main contract system now so we could go into any of these ones here and we can choose to uh fulfill any of these contracts and make money on them this does not exist in the game right now energy cells do not exist so it's kind of annoying we get contracts with energy cells because they require helium 3 and helium 3 is not mineable so you can't do anything with energy cells so just climb on them uh, fuel is fuel we don't we have 200 fuel so we could sell some fuel just get rid of it um and make some money on it like that's a good deal Fifty-four thousand for 139 um, it's a good deal um let's do that let's complete our first contract just just boom let's sell um see uh fuel is heavy fuel is very heavy so uh i think it's 75 yeah 75 oops let's do 75 there and then let's do 64 boom we'll sell two of them there we go our drones are busy doing other things and stuff as well um i did say i was going to prioritize the pattern i never did last episode okay all right we need the rolling mill done which we are done we've done the rolling mill awesome okay um uh, Malachite let's... is about to set up their production facility on the moon and is asking us for missing construction materials. Check out the contract on the control center panel. Awesome. Uh, we don't have them, but I would accept it anyway. Okay, there's no deadline on it. So let's um, put that in there. Yeah. We need more titanium. We need more titanium. This is producing 14 and you are using 9. Uh, I'm going to... Build a second titanium machine. We can squeeze a belt into here because we designed it that way. Well, I say designed that way. Barely designed it that way. <laughs> um, but we don't have any power down here. Okay, so that's easy enough done. What we'll do is we will break that one. Build a second power line and then connect the two together. Oh, what's this? Uh, we have, oh, we have module improvements. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, let's do some more research as well here. What are we using? We need engineering. Um, let's get ourselves uh, underground conveyor belt. Conveyor mark 2 would be useful as well. Uh, smart concrete is very useful. We'll add that to the list. It's already got some stuff in it anyway, so that's fine. Uh, we've got loads of stuff coming in. We've got loads of science coming in, which is awesome. Director, we still need to carry out repair work outside the base and organize an expedition. Build an expedition center so we can send drones and materials over long distances. Okie dokie. So, uh, this has got four inputs at the back and uh, two on the front. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way you put it around, if I'm honest with you. Uh, the drones tend to go to wherever, the, wherever they feel like going. Um, but I am going to put it uh, as close to that docking port as I can get the landing pad that I can get kind of going to cause problems for us bringing stuff in but I do not care but oh, there we go okay so now we're down here let's um continue running a power line down as far as we can go okay yep yeah, that looks about right okay now let's see where we can build down here let's um Let's see so research complete so we can't build there there okay so if i go across is that valid all the way across it is valid all the way across to there okie dokie cool 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 so how do i want to do this now as i explained previously um this is bad this is bad because uh if uh well it's not bad because we've got redundant power lines but if this was all connected to one end and this battery failed and needed repairs everything on the line before that would not get power come through it so you want to make sure you're having a lot of sort of not necessarily redundant connections but you want a lot of connections so what i'm thinking is how about we go like this we'll come down as far as we can go which is going to be there is that right yep that's right there and then we go uh one two and three we'll put a battery in and then we do another three up there and then we just complete all the way along with power lines in between them so 
Uh, I would need to get the large batteries unlocked. I don't remember how big the large batteries are. Kind of awkward. Um, yeah. I think for the minute, we'll just connect these three up. Okay, to the power grid, and we'll just get this kind of working. Um, just being power some things, because we don't have enough power to do things. And we want to get the large battery. Which is here. Which means I desperately want the fuel generator and these, these, these. So we'll concentrate on this here. Um, cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay. Fuel generator. Um, utility pole. Fuel factory. Anything. So, uh, but we can do research for this. This. Get that done. Okay. 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 Right. This requires um, titanium plates. We don't have many of, and components. We don't have many of. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yep, we're getting there slowly. Um, uh, oh, uh, so we need to do this one here. So I can select it, or I can control click on a current smelter. Any building. Control click on any building. Copy the settings. If you shift click on another building, it pastes the settings. This is the thing our, our, our rover went to. Uh, in the crater lies a vast storage structure uh, comprised of multiple segmented modules. Emergency vehicles are scattered all around the area. A sign by the entrance identifies it as Reserve Warehouse 451720775. A crust logo makes it clear who the owner is. Hey! The facility is designed for emergency use and houses a large quantity of steel, smart concrete, and modular frames. We've received some signs and we can go and pick that up because we are part of crust. We can just literally go and pick that up. So, send the expedition, rover, pick it up, come back to base. Excellent, excellent. Uh, would you uh, do that? Would you return to here? Uh, uh, click, right click, no, click, right click, move. Thank you. Uh, Back in. Okay, and that will help us. That will desperately help us. Also, we received a lot of stuff. We have another contract in here. We already have assigned. Um, it's got 28 days to complete. Can we buy 300 sent him in? One, two, three. It costs us 60,000. How much money will we make? 100,000. Yeah. Let's buy 60,000 in. Buy. Uh, we also need to buy in a couple of micro rushes, don't we? How many? Uh... 25 we don't need 25 uh, oh that's 100 didn't do that uh, 10 how many do we have missing two let's buy in uh five we put that all on the same pad save some money didn't forgot about it okay that's fine Two cargo pods gonna land. One there, one uh, there. I've kind of hurt myself by putting things too close to the landing port. We could move the landing off over. That's my big problem. So we've got all these things on the floor, which we can now take apart and get some stuff back. We could have just disabled that and got these back. So these give us component uh, micro circuits and stuff. So I didn't, but I didn't. Um, you aren't being built because you require mo um, sending plates. We don't have to send plates because it's coming to here first. That's fine. We need components for this now. Um, okay. Let's see here. We have components dotted around. Let's... Um, get rid of those. Wasting more science points. Ah, what are we wasting? We're wasting engineering science. Uh, let's upgrade the rolling mill. Contract complete. Hey, awesome. Captain Center is going to be done. Now my drones will deal with this piece of scrap metal. Load them into the cargo truck with parts and send them to the terminal. Okay. So we now need to do a mission on the moon. Um, same as we had here. So we had to send drones here to collect all these. Same here. We have to send two drones to collect all this. Awesome. That's fine. Currently our rover's busy going up there, so uh eh, we'll let Research we'll let you get on with that. Uh, you are gonna go over to this one instead. Okay. Um, ah, we don't ah uh, hold on, hold on. No no no. 
we these are the required resources okay let's have a quick look see um So aluminium components and rolling and uh, roll we can get. We don't have five component, five um, modules, so that's a problem. You don't have any modules. Do we have any modules on the surface we can get anywhere? No, there's no, no modules by the looks of it. Hmm. Okay, okay. In order Fine. to recruit staff to the base, we'll need living quarters. Professor, have you got the technology needed? Crust has handed over the research plan. They agreed to help, but the main burden will fall on our shoulders. Living quarters will require a lot of space. Director, make sure the drones mine enough area for construction. Yep, but we're not going to do... We, we will do this, but I don't think I'm going to hire people in. I might hire some in. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on how it goes. Uh, there is a weird thing where... Um, Finally, the colonist has skill. I can't show you because we don't have any colonists. Um, but provided the colonist has one point of skill in a thing, they are better than not having a colonist there. So I, I thought only engineers could work for engineering. That's not the case. Providing they have at least one point in engineering, they are better than not having a colonist here at all. If they have zero points, uh, they might be a little bit lower, so it might not be worth it. But however, the other flip side to that is. If you add colonists here and you end up going up to like 580% efficiency, you need way more input. Way more input. So, yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a repeater early if we can to get things done. So, fuel factory, put that up high. Okay, um, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, you do fine there. Uh, then we're going to do the large battery for the last one. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. What do you think? Should we go with colonists? Should we not go with colonists? Should I just build loads of machines? Or should I try and build like one machine of each and build colonists? I have realized from the last playthrough and other ones that if we have a drones feed these machines, it causes problems because of, it, it's just, it's just better to have um, uh, belts do things. So right now we're going with drones, so that's fine. So, um, right, what upgrade did we get? We got, ah, oh, we got an extractor upgrade. So we can, we can upgrade extractors. We can apply, sorry, I'm jumping around. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm jumping around places, but a little while ago, we unlocked extractors. We've got a little tutorial up of unlocking um, upgrades. So upgrades, okay. You can upgrade buildings once you've researched them. We can upgrade our extractor. It costs 25,000 credits to upgrade it, but it would increase the speed by 50%. So instead of 20 a minute, it will produce 30 a minute. This wants 20 a minute. So there's no point in upgrading it. Not right now. However, later when we get multi regolith machining, which I want to get to quicker, then we will have the uh, um, ability to um, take more in, more ore in. So we want to upgrade them to uh, just, just to get more resources in as quickly as possible. So, yeah. Okay, so your drone to mine in there, that's fine. Uh, once you finish mining there, I'm going to get you to mine out of this now because we can mine it out because we have finally researched the mine in there. You've got to mine this out over here already. Uh, also mine out that little bit there that we missed. Do keep doing that. Um, and then we want to mine across here and get things. So uh, we've got some iron here, which we haven't scanned that yet. It's fine. Oh, there's one there as well. Mine that one. Right. We've only got two miners as well. Uh, we can buy more drones. Let's have a look how much drones are. Robots. 41,000 at the moment. They do go down quite low. I've seen them under 30,000. So I'm not going to buy them yet. We'll hold off for the minute. We'll hold off in a minute. What am I getting five in? Uh, at least three in, and then getting uh, five miners and okay, right. So we've got to wait for the guy to come back. That's fine. We'll do that in a moment. No point. Oh. Yeah, We've been approached to... for help by Universe. A recent hurricane swept through the Gulf of Mexico, leaving many people homeless. We can provide resources for the recovery efforts. Uh, wow. Um, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. We're going to slow down time. We're going to pause time effect. Um, so, uh, in 50 days, let's, let's ignore that. Let's go with the 90,000. So, it's going to give us 90,000. Can we buy 1,000 brick and 1,000 steel? 
concrete i keep saying brick concrete for uh 90 000. let's see so it's gonna cost us way more than we currently have there so a thousand and thousand it's a hundred and fifteen thousand to buy in so we would lose money on this contract if we just buy the resources in okay um we currently have 115 and 165 not sure where all that concrete is uh, oh upstairs on the thing so so we need to buy 900 of each okay can go to 103 if we did it quicker okay uh that's 104 so we'd st we'd lose money on this contract we would lose money on this contract uh, that's because smart concrete is quite high price right now it goes down to 42 uh, that's 10, 10 credits a go. That would very much drop that by like 10,000. So that's that's there. And steel is also quite high. I'll tell you what we'll do. We do. We've got 50 days before we need to do the contract anyway. I've got 75 days in total. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpause the game and just let it go. The clock up here will go past midnight. Boop, there you go. Let's go back into here. Let's have a look at the prices. What do the prices do? So the price for smart concrete jumped dramatically and the price for steel dropped. So, right. Well, I'm not going to buy them until they're under 50. Okay, so we just have to keep an eye on this as time goes on and uh, make sure we uh, get everything we need. Basically, get, get the things we need and get the money. We want to do that. I'm going to buy the repeater. I'm going to get the repeater as well. Want to get the large battery get our power system sorted out we need silicon to get the power system sorted out um we're getting decent amount of silicon in that's not a problem obviously we'll be making steel as well at the same time so maybe we won't have to um actually upgrade the steel uh, so we won't have to buy as much steel not upgrade we'll talk about um in the meantime let's uh actually do this control click shift click there you go power um, oh, we've upgraded the power poles as well. So all our power poles that had five connections, four connections, now allow one more. So they go up to five connections. Boom. So you can have power as well. That will split between the two. Uh, this doesn't actually provide enough uh, to run two of them at once. Uh, these need 18 and that's 14 and a half. This is probably the same. This is 11, so it's not there. So it's slightly more than one, but not anywhere near two. So we could either upgrade one of these smelters or we can just build a second one. So that's what I'm going to do here. Not fussed about this one so much. This is 8.3 coming out and this one's 9. So this is not actually running fast or slow or anything at all. So that's fine. Very weird as well because it looks like I've got a yellow belt there. Um, which is odd because we don't have yellow belts. We don't even have yellow belts unlocked yet. So not quite sure why that looks that color there. Uh, what did you research? So you said the trading license. That's nice. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, increases that as well. Let's add that to the list just to use up the social science that we have. That'll be fine. Okay. Okay. I'm a little bit scatterbrained on this episode. Sorry, everything's going everywhere and doing everything. And... Yep. Um, Research complete. That's just um, how it's going to be. It's how it's going to be. Uh, okay, so we don't have enough power to do things as well. We want to get power going. It requires mainly silicon. There's quite a few other things as well, so yeah. Okay, uh, oh, probably been another couple of days and I've missed uh, the concrete has jumped through the. the this is down at 40. I'm going to buy. Let's buy 900 steel. It's only 37,000 now. Look at this. Looks fantastic. So we'll buy one load. We'll buy a second load. And we'll buy a third load. Now it's staying at the same price because I have paused the game. Because the game is paused while we're in here. So we can buy all three of them at the same price, which is awesome. Plus uh, the amount here. I think what well, I've just said there is wrong, actually. No, that is wrong. Sorry. Um if you were to buy say um all the module terminals 258 of them if you were to buy all of them um we couldn't buy all of them but, yeah. but if you were to buy the less there is in the market this is how many is available to buy the price changes and the price can change after you buy one shipment so just because the game's paused it doesn't do that i think i don't know that seems to be something that it didn't do and it has done and then it hasn't done again so um 
a little confused myself by it. So it might be because I paused the game before I went in there, rather than letting the commerce the commerce center pause the game manually. We will we will test this. We will test this. So one, two, and three, and let's uh, send your resources. So let's send. Um, 300, 300, 300. Okay, we'll send some of it. Wasting some science points as well. What are we wasting? We're wasting engineering. Um, let's upgrade the smelting furnaces. That'd be nice. Uh, oh, you no, know, no, let's not do that. Let's do the battery and throw the battery to the top. There we go. Awesome. Okay, right. I'll pause the game. There we go. Also, our cargo rover's come backwards with stuff as well. That's nice of him. Thank you very much. I'd like to get this contract done before the days out so we can get the bonus amount, which would be quite nice. Okay. Um, and all we got to do is just keep checking on things here. So if, I, if I'm if i not going to pause the game, I'm going to go into the contract here. Let's have a look at um, smart coffee. It's 66, so it's still really high. I want it to come below 50. As long as it drops below 50, I'll buy some. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and you, uh, no, come back here. Come back here. Don't go anywhere. Because we're going to send you on a mission in a moment. We do want to just complete this first. So. Okay. I want to test whether if I pause the game myself or if the game pauses it because you're in the menu, whether the prices change or not. So we saw, buying the steel, when the game was paused manually by me, the price did not change even though we brought three lots of it. Usually it does change, that's what I was expecting, but obviously it didn't, so yeah. Uh, we're doing that there. I don't have any storages for these yet, so we only get so many of them in, but that's fine. That's not a problem. They're also really coming down and grabbing them from here, aren't they? They really like grabbing you know, steel from here rather than from these guys, which uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I don't think I can up the priority of these things, can I? No, it's uh, sort of. I think I can. I might be able to pick up and say, hey, would you always pick up from this resource first? So. Okay, another day has gone by, so not pause the game. I'm not pausing it myself. I'm letting the comma center pause it. That does it on its own. Uh, eh, 62. No, it's not interested. Any time left, haven't we? There it is. Loads of time. Plus, we couldn't ship it anyway until these are full, so yeah. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this go and we'll get all the steel sent over there. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on our research and things so we don't start wasting a load of stuff. Um, uh, so we are not using engineering. We have the batteries. That's awesome. Um, get the smelters. Yep, do that. Okay, so we can get batteries done. That's cool. Uh, and I'm going to wait for the time to go by every now and then and I'm going to see whether this does in fact change the price um, if I leave the game running and I click the comma center whether it's whether manually pausing or pausing via the button down here are different things I wouldn't think so but I think I've observed that I'm not sure anyway Research um, complete. I will figure that out and we will come back next episode where we will build more uh, batteries and other bits and pieces and other things and we'll see how it exactly goes so thank you very much for watching this one has been a bit scattered all over the place but um, i'm trying to get a lot done we want to get this done we want to get this done we want to get this done we want to get everything done as soon as possible because uh i also want to build a repeater as soon as possible um so that we can find the mdr early and uh get ourselves buried in slag uh early game so yeah but until next time as always have fun